What's up, people? Welcome to Riding on Ruby. Well, today I'm gonna take a little short ride to the smoke shop and get my tobacco. I make my own cigarettes. I spend like $53 for a eight ounce bag of tobacco and two boxes of tubes. Get about two cartons out of that. So that's not bad for uh, two weeks worth of smoking for about $53. So the last video I did, I don't know what happened with the mic. I think it might have been the mic adapter that plugs into the GoPro. I had the screw to secure the GoPro in place on the same side as the mic adapter where it plugs in. And I think it might have been kind of like in the way kind of stretched around it or near it and maybe when I try to adjust the GoPro a little bit you know when I'm riding then it might have made it go loose so I'm hoping that you know that that was the case and uh, this is kind of like a little test too to see what's going on with that so I reworked the linkage and everything and now the the screws on on the right side and the mic adapter is on the left side so we'll see how that's gonna go hopefully there's not any issues with the GoPro or the mic so we'll go hit the smoke shop go for a little ride maybe hit stop and shop get some cough drops I have a uh, allergies and my nose gets clogged up and I get that post nasal drip so the cough drops kinda help keeping everything flowing so let's do it Let's go for a ride. It's a beautiful day. It's about 40. You don't mind me saying 40. <laughs> it's about 74 degrees. Light wind. And uh, just about no humidity. It's it's beautiful. So let's go. See what we could come up with. Look at that, I got a branch. Man. I gotta see if I gotta adjust my mirror. Hold on. Oh. I gotta see if I can tighten up that ball joint. I'll have to. I mean, I really can't see nothing going back there. Oh. Have to be, do it better on the road. All right, let's rock and roll. I'm still under 500 miles. <laughs> Can't adjust them here because we're on a hill. Just have to adjust them while we're on a, a level somewhere. I don't know if you could tighten up those little balls on the back. I, I don't think you can, so. Still on a hill. <laughs> no matter where I go, I'm on a hill. It's definitely got to come in a little bit more anyways. Can 
construction everywhere you go. Okay, roads closed. That's that's an interesting one. I guess we're going this way. We're going to be taking a long way today. Yeah, I'm steaming up now. Because it's chilly enough to where it's steaming up. Thank you. different. Well, at least they're paving that road. That road was horrible. So we'll know for future reference. Oh. All right. 
right, we're here. I'm gonna pause it for now. A lot of people don't like to be recorded. All right, what's up, people? Hope you can hear me with the helmet on. So I get out of the smoke shop and trying to turn the GoPro on again. And I left it on. I just, you know, stopped the recording. And I left it on to go inside the store and then come out and then go to hit record. And the thing's dead, you know, has like the auto shut off. All right, so now it doesn't want to work. All right, so let me go down the street. I go down to uh, stop and shop down the street. Go in, get my cough drops, come back out. Trying to turn it back on again still won't go on. So in the meantime, I didn't want to have to take it all off. The linkage and everything, you know, like all this stuff. I didn't want to take it off the linkage. And, uh have to undo the case take it out get the battery out pop it back in so of course i did that when i got here and it's re it's working again but in the meantime while i'm doing all this this guy comes over and starts talking about oh hey i like the flags on the back of the bike yep those and he's like oh that's a nice bike i know people and he's going on and on and on and then about maybe like three and i figured i have a smoke because i can't smoke with the with this full face helmet on the open face one i could so you know i'm just having a smoke you know and waiting and trying to get this thing going and uh the guy the guy's like well you know after he's talking for about maybe five or six minutes he says well you know this is embarrassing but you know i'm homeless and i said dude look let me stop you right there if you're looking for money I only use debit, so unless you have a debit card or machine with you, I can't help you. I'm sorry, you know. And he never said he was a veteran. If he said he was a veteran, I probably would have flipped him a five, but, it, you know, because veterans don't get what they deserve. Never. And they deserve a lot more, you know. But the guy never said he was, so I told him, sorry, I can't help you. And I, I didn't. I, I, had, I had, like, maybe, like, six or seven dollars change in my pocket from the store but you know hey you know i gotta work every day so you know it's not right i, I really really you know I, I really feel bad for these people that might not be getting enough assistance you know that they need but you know half of the times i'm sorry i truly think a lot of these people are just out there saying hey if these other guys could be out there making money then why can't i so that you know that's that's in my head you know that's just my personal opinion but you know I mean, you know, the guys, there's like signs all over the place saying, you know, we're hiring. So, I mean, I'm just really confused about that. He didn't look like he was disabled or anything to me. So, you know, just looking for free money, I guess. So that kind of ticked me off and I really wanted to get that on tape. You know, the video was only about maybe like five or six minutes long. So I figured I'd add to it now at the end. But I figured, you know what, I want to show you these saddlebags again. And show you, you know, what I got and what I put in there. So just in case you're thinking about, you know, going to Amazon.com, finding some uh, universal, you know, saddlebags. These are leather. I thought they weren't leather before, but yes, they are leather. This was such a great deal. I love them. So here's what I got in there. All right, I got my 8-ounce bag of tobacco. So you can see, hopefully see in there. Get a look, this GoPro always makes things look twice as far away. So here's this bag. Now that's a pretty good sized bag, you know, compared to the tank. You know, that's a pretty good sized bag right there. That just slid right in, standing up. I got the tubes, you know, a little free advertisement, I guess, for all these other companies. And then I got two things of, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, cough drops. So all that stuff right there easily fit inside the saddlebag. So if you're looking for saddlebags, I definitely recommend it. I was never really a saddlebag guy, but after uh, getting these, you know, it's like awesome because now I don't have to jump in a car and I can and I, and I can take the bike. All right, people, I appreciate you coming along with the ride today. I played back a little bit of it. It sounded like the mic was working okay, so I think it might have had something to do with that 
the GoPro adapter plugging in and it pulled out a little bit or something. So let me get in the house, get this all uploaded, a couple hours to do that, get it on YouTube, and, uh, you know, I hope you're all out there enjoying the summer and being safe. And as usual, like, subscribe. You know, I, I looked at my, uh, the analyst from uh, YouTube, and it's kind of weird, you know, not I'm greedy or nothing like that, but 91% of the viewers don't subscribe. And only like 9% actually subscribe. So, I mean, that's how YouTube gets your videos more prominent when people search for it. You know, the more views you have, that's good. But the more subscribers you have, that's even better. And it puts you a little bit up higher on the list when people start searching for you. And all you have to do is hit subscribe. All it does is it doesn't cost nothing. There's no fees. You don't got to sign up. You just hit subscribe in case you don't know and it just puts it into a different section in the, under your subscription sub, on the YouTube page so instead of looking like hey where's that guy that I saw the other day on that red motorcycle you know you can't remember the name or something well if you subscribe you hit your subscription button and boom there they are every single one that that person did so you know I'd appreciate if you could subscribe but if not, I just still hope you enjoy the videos. I like making them, trying to show people that, you know what, the Street 500 is an awesome bike. So, again, everybody uh, have a wonderful summer. Be safe out there. Peace out, people.